Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to a very special Bakugan review. Today we're going to be reviewing Mr. Hotshot himself, Shun, and all his Guardian Bakugan. So, uh, all the Legacy series from Season 1 all the way up to the uh, second arc of Mechanium Surge, which is Season 4. Uh, we're going to be doing a pretty in-depth review of each of these guys you see here on screen. Um, so everyone from Skyrus all the way to Jakor, and... Um, just, you know, going into all the different specialities they have, all the gimmicks and all that good stuff. Uh, I don't want to waste anyone's time. Without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, before we get super started here, uh, the first card of the day we're going to be using is Skyrus. So this Skyrus card here, gold card, pretty good on Ventus, 150 right here. Card reads, if a Skyrus loses this battle, its owner may take all ability cards that were played in this battle, including his opponents, and add them to his unused pile. Pretty awesome there. Um, so we're going to be using this card just to open uh, the back of gun right here. All right, first Bakugan on our list is Ventus Skyrus. So this right here is a rather rare Bakugan to find now. Um, it's been very sought after by collectors, so it has become slowly harder to find. Um, this is a B1 Ventus Skyrus. Open core, as you can see there, there is no plastic covering it, so the metal is completely exposed right there, uh, which is really awesome. So, super happy to have this Bakugan. Uh, it is still in very, very well-kept condition. Uh, the Ventus symbol there is not even worn out or anything. It's just, it's, it's so good. Um, it's just, the paint on this is fantastic. Um, I love... Skyrus as Shun's first Bakugan. She was such an awesome character and had a very good story arc overall, uh, especially this ball design here. I'm loving uh, this fire-esque design. Looks more like wind, really, but really, really loving it. Um, so one cool thing about Skyrus here is that she has a gimmick. Um, it was sort of like a re-release. They re-released Skyrus as a special attack Bakugan a little bit later on after her initial release. Um, and it was called like Jump Skyrus. So you could do this very particular backspin um, and jump her onto a gate card. You could also technically use this to jump over other Bakugan, though th the skill it took was probably almost too much to even be worth bothering. Because um, you were able to jump onto a card, which would be cool to impress like your enemy or your opponent or whatever. Uh, but... Trying to do it to jump over another Bakugan was also pretty difficult to begin with. And it all uh, worked using this uh, little, like, like feather she had on her head right here. Um, by doing that backspin, it was able to make her jump, um, which was really awesome. So let's go ahead and open Skyrus here. She's got two manual parts. She has just the two feet right here. And we can go ahead and lay her on the card like that. And... I don't like that the the feather isn't like deployable by it like it it kind of flicks up you have to there you go so you have to like use your finger or like flip her upside down really quick and get it but um here's skyrus right here in all her glory you can see right here she is 320 g so for a like b1 bakugan overall pretty decently strong uh nothing nothing to complain about there she's pretty iconic i think this is a very nostalgic bakugan um and the ball design itself is really, really good. It's kind of like Drago's. Like, Drago's is really nice, and it's very iconic, and that's what makes it so great. Like, this is Skyrish. She's a bird, um, and that's this form is what makes her iconic, I think. Um, so it's a closed Skyrish. It's a bit complicated. We'll start by shutting her feet. And then you kind of have to get the... I believe it's the head and the tail first. So close the head and the tail, and you have to close them together like this. And then you can kind of clip the wings in like that and just make sure she's all pushed together and that is Skyrus. Up next on our list is Storm Skyrus. So the evolution of Skyrus after she fought Oberus and evolved. Storm Skyrus is a drastic upgrade to what Skyrus was. Um, in terms of ball form, I'm not sure, but in the storyline, like, very much so. But, uh, as you can see here on Storm Skyrus, the design's a lot different. We lose a lot of that weird wind, like, wind flame design and more of, like, uh, some holes and just, like, some kind of, like, splatter 
esque effect. Um, there's a cool arrow here, which is nice. And then the Ventus symbol is on the back, which is curious because the other one had the had it on the wing. Um, but you still got these two like holes right here where the um, screws go. Uh, Skyrus had something similar to that. Um, one thing about Skyrus is she only fully opens like she has two manual parts, which are the legs. But you can't quite open them all the way without busting the wing open, so you have to lay her on the card first. Um, this one also has a little fan that can flip up, very similar uh, effect. You can do that jumping effect with it. Um, so it's right there, which is pretty cool. And let's go ahead and open her up so that uh, we can get the full form. So again, got to open her up and then pop the legs. And then we can place her down, make sure that... A uh, little like feather hood it, feather thing on top is flipped up and here is storm skyris so uh, a bit different design we got different colors in the show she was more like red than purple in areas which is kind of curious um, I don't know why the ball form would do purple when you could just easily do red um, skyris has a, the storm skyris here has a couple things I'm not a fan of such as these little floppy bits um, they're not put on any kind of spring or, or any kind of like tension, so they just kind of flop around, which is really annoying when you're trying to display her. Uh, same with the hood here. It just flops, and it's it's really hard to get when, again, you're trying to display them. Um, but Skyrus here is 500 Gs, so a huge upgrade to my B1 Skyrus, um, which is really nice, especially if you plan to use this to brawl. Um, and yeah, I'm not too big of a fan of the huge feet here. Uh, they kind of remind me of, you know, kind of like Dragos where they they look like lava affected, but, you know, obviously in Ventus form. But there's no color on them or anything, which is kind of disappointing. The body shape itself is also kind of like rectangular, which I'm not a fan of. Um, but the head I like and the wingspan I like. I like really big Bakugan. So looking at her head on is, is pretty nice here. Um, but other than that, you know, I'm not overly overly a fan of storm sky race in the show 100 percent but as a ball form it, it's just an annoying bakugan and uh i don't know compared to regular sky race, it's not all that great to add on to that uh annoyance sky storm sky race here is pretty complicated to close so of course you close the feet first and then the head has to go and connect with the tail in the back there's a little tab there as you can see so you got to lock that into place okay and then you got to make sure that these floppy bits are in, and then you can close the wings. So, yeah, kind of complicated. Once you know how to do it, though, it's pretty easy. But it just adds to the annoyance of trying to figure it out. We're going to do a quick intermission here, guys. Uh, I do want to let you know I do buy and sell Bakugan. If you're interested, you can check out the links below in the description. You can check out my eBay or Macari, whichever you prefer. I also do like other business deals and custom paint Bakugan. You can either message me on Instagram or check out my email. Again, all in the description. Uh, with that out of the way, let's get back to the video. All right, guys, we're going to transition here and look at a different card for the next set of Bakugan. Um, we have Tricolor Boost, which fe features Ingram here. Um, it says Bakugan owned by players with at least three different attributes in the game. Get 150 G power. Um, pretty nice on Pyrus and Ventus here, 250 and 200, which is really awesome. Yep. And uh, yeah, we're going to be using these to open the rest of the Bakugan here. Alright, up next is Season 2. So, uh, New Vistroia shouldn't get a new Guardian Bakugan. Um, this is Ventus Ingram. In the Americanized version, she was a girl. In the Japanese version, it was a boy. Um, so I'm just going to refer to it as she because, you know, that's the show I watched. Um, Ventus Ingram is pretty cool. Uh, this is the translucent version, which according to the wiki, I didn't know this until I was researching this video. According to the wiki, um, this specific like Ventus translucent Ventus Ingram only comes in like a DVD bundle. Not too much to look at in terms of the translucent version here right now. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of detailing and like featherness here. It's really hard to see on the translucent, which is unfortunate. So let's go ahead and open Ingram. She has two manual parts, the feet, and then there's one more later on that we'll get to. Uh, so pop her open right there, and my Ingram for some reason has a very hard time, like her either her magnet's weak or the plastic to get to it's very thick, and so she has a hard time um, sort of like 
staying upright, which is weird. Um, but you can see her here, um, really awesome wingspan. I love it a lot. Um, but yeah, you can see she's kind of crooked and, and things just aren't, like she doesn't stay on the card at all very well. Um, but check out how long she is. Like that's really cool. And this is the part that you're supposed to be able to like, you know, sort of, you know, roll off Bakugan and like jump over him and stuff. Um, but yeah, cool wingspan. It's like multi-layered. There's different wings here, there, there on the top. And then of course this tail bit. You can also like pop this sort of up if you can get her to stand right and it'll be like up above her head. Most of the time though, it just lays back like this. Um, so that one extra manual part is like a mask. So you see this bird head here. You can pop that up. It doesn't go up all the way, but it does turn her into like a bird. So cool little mask, which is super interesting there. Um, I don't normally put it up, but it is there. So, you know, if you like it, you can use it. Uh, 650 G's there. So again, uh, compared to my Storm Skyrise, huge, huge upgrade. That's kind of hard to see. There you go, 650. And um, yeah. Uh, in the show, Ingram was pretty cool, and I have not too much to say about it. So to close Ingram, really easy. Make sure you have that mask down, and then you can shut the feet right here. So feet close, and then it's it's kind of like layered. So head goes down, and then you trap the uh, wings here, and that should, uh, for the most part, get her head. Just got to make sure you do that, and then it's this one and this one. That'll lock the head definitely into place, and then this back piece just kind of rolls up and clicks into place. And that is Ventus Ingram. All right, up next is my translucent Ventus Master Ingram. Um, so again, part of just my new Vestroia set, if you're unfamiliar, where I collected all the translucent versions of the new Vestroia set. Um, but this is Ventus Master Ingram, a Bakutech Bakugan uh, Japan exclusive. Um, if you don't know what Bakutech is, some people think that they're a totally separate branch of Bakugan, which yes, they are, um, coming out sort of near the Mechanium Surge arc, but they also did like these Bakugan as they're considered Bakutech, um, which is really interesting. So uh, I don't know quite the whole reasoning for that, but I don't know, it is what it is. Uh, so you can see a lot more on this translucent Ventus Ingram. Uh, the, it, the plastic is a bit of a clearer color, uh, so you can kind of see this wind design going on, which is nice. Uh, curiously enough, Ventus Master Ingram is the only Bakugan to have two attribute symbols, one here and one on the other side. You will find no other Bakugan like that. Um, I don't know why that is, but <laughs> it's pretty cool and uh, a nice little trivia question, I guess. Ventus Master Ingram, so in the show it was very off-putting because he turned straight into a dude after he evolves, which is like, what? But, um, I don't know, Ventus Master Ingram is definitely like cooler, I think. Um, so he's only got two manual parts, technically three we'll get into. And so you just pop the feet open and then we'll go ahead and drop him. And so this is Ventus Master Ingram. Really nice. And uh, you can see there the two attribute symbols. It's kind of hard to see in the, the lighting there, but two right on the wings. Again, no Bakugan like that except this one. As you can see here, 560 Gs. So not as strong as Ingram, but uh, this is like a Japanese Bakugan. So for some reason they're weaker. Um, it's just how it is there. I don't know quite the reasoning behind that. Maybe they came first or something. Um, but Master Ingram's pretty cool. And uh, he's got hands this time, which you can see, which are really nice. Um, and then the cool little like mohawk thing, which is like his staple, I guess, is really cool as well. Um, I'm really a fan of the gold, so I think the gold's a huge improvement. Um, it looks really nice on this translucent, especially. So you've got like a darker, uh, like translucent green, like a green blue, and you've got this nice highlighter green, and then you got the gold and the black, which is awesome. Like gold and black always look good together. In my opinion, this is probably one of the um, the better looking, like, anime accurate Bakugan, um, not totally, but it is really nice, um, and so another unique feature of, uh, Master Ingram is he's got this little tail piece, like a peg, um, which is a little bit hard to get out, and so it's right here, and everyone's like, oh, it's a tail, and I guess it could be a tail, but, um, 
What's interesting about it is that there was supposed to be a, another Bakugan to go along with Master Ingram, which was uh, Shadow Wing, but Shadow Wing was never released, so this would have allowed like Master Ingram to combine with Shadow Wing, but unfortunately, it was just never released. I have some seen, seen some people take um, Ingram here, and you can kind of like combine Ingram with Master Ingram, so there's like a peg here. And people will like bend her head down and then stick the peg like in the head or something like that, I think. And so it doesn't it doesn't quite work like the way you think it would, but people try and do it. I'm not not a hundred percent sure why, but I guess it's an interesting piece of trivia. I can't even get it to really work. Uh, Master Ingram's pretty easy to close, so feed in. And then everything kind of like Ingram collapses in on itself. Just make sure you get that head and then boom, all together, super easy. Up next, we have Ventus Hawk Tour, um, Shun's third Guardian Bakugan in the third season of the show, Gundalian Invaders. Um, I've done a huge in-depth review of all the main characters from Gundalian Invaders. You can check out the video. There'll be a little icon in the top right corner of the video if you're curious about that. Um, but Hawk Tour here is pretty cool. Uh, this introduced Battle Gear into the show. And um, I don't know, Battle Gear I was against, but now I'm for. Um, but taking a look at Hawk Tour here, he's not overly impressive from the ball form. He's got like a teal color green here, which you kind of see in Ingram. Um, cool little arrow pieces right here, which is really nice, uh, but other than that, not a whole lot going on. Um, but when you roll him open, uh, he does look pretty sick, so he automatically deploys in battle gear form. Not all the Bakugan do that. Then you uh, let out his feet because they're, they're separated. Um, but uh, not overly impressive. He kind of looks like a weird turtle without his battle gear. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. And then his G power is really hidden, so you have to pull his neck back. And then you can see there, 540 Gs. So, um, you know, about the same as Master Ingram there. And then uh, he wouldn't be anything without his battle gear, Swather. So this is Swather right here. And um, his battle gear has two little holes to pop on the pegs here. And that'll pop open. So there you go. And then these two pieces pop out, uh, which is super nice and gives him a whole lot more depth than... Uh, you know, just without the battle gear. Battle gear here has 180 Gs, so you add that on if you're playing the game. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. Um, interesting, like his neck can go all the way down and then it can also go up. So I don't know what the whole point of that is if he automatically battle gear deploys. I guess specific battle gear doesn't work or something. Um, maybe that's the case. And then there's two little dudes here that pop open. You can't even see that in the screen, but there's a little manual piece there. Um, the battle gear can't be super complex. Uh, but yeah, that's him in all his glory. Pretty cool with the battle gear, I think. These two pieces are spring-loaded, which is also awesome. Uh, Hawk Tour in the show, overall, eh, you know, he's okay. <laughs> uh, he's not Skyrise or Ingram, that's for sure. But overall, really awesome Bakugan. Um, really easy to close as well, just shut the feet. And then, you know, he kind of all just goes in, which is really nice. So, just like that. Uh, no DNA code, not sure if this was just an, uh, an early release or a later release, but no DNA code for the uh, online thing they had going on. And then Swather's also rather easy to close, so make sure you shut these little wings in the back here, so these two dudes fold in. And then make sure you get these wings and then tuck those in, so like that. And then the wings are the hardest part for some reason. These little spring-loaded things don't always like to go in. I think you have to shut them and the wings kind of the, like, I think this has to go in and then this has to go in and then they have to catch. So I think there's a mechanism somewhere on the side that catches it, but mine are having a hard time wanting to close for some reason. That's what I don't like about Battle Gear, but uh, there you go, done. <laughs> Up next on our list, we're going into Mechanium Surge, the fourth season of Bakugan, and we're starting off with the first arc. We have Ventus Talion. Curiously enough, Shun's first Bakugan, that's not bird-like, um, 
which is super interesting. We have the DNA code here, which is useless now, but it would allow you to go into the online game and, and put Talion in here. Mechanium Surge was interesting. It claimed to have metal parts, but it really didn't. It, I don't know, It it's very weird, but they always have some kind of metal. Uh, in this case, Talion's metal is his feet. So these are the actual die cast metal part of the Bakugan. All this other like silver you see here is just painted plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and pop Talion open. So a little bit of trouble here. Um, gotta get the head up. Uh, so Talion, this is what he looks like. He's also got two little hands that come out right here. Um, very hard to get out. There's little pieces that you can like get your fingernails into, but it just doesn't really work. Um, another little trivia fact here is Talion was actually remodeled into Wolverine when they did the Marvel vs. Bakugan series, which is pretty awesome. There's also a couple manual pieces here, so he's got two little like knife things on the front and back, which are nice if you can get them out. There we go. Alright, a little bit better. But yeah, kind of look like blades, which are nice. Yeah, so there's Talion in all his glory. Really nice looking Bakugan here. Um, as you can see on the side right here, 850Gs, so a massive improvement um, from Master Ingram. <laughs> Going from like 560 to 850 is a huge deal. Talion, so they don't have battle gear for mechanic. Well, they, I guess they have battle um, suits or whatnot, but battle gear is, is out of the picture. We have Baku Nano now. I don't have any of the Baku Nano, but if you are curious, um, Talion's Baku Nano is Hammermore and the Immobile Assault is Zumpha. Uh, so those would clip on to the little peg in the back here, um, and that would go in right there as the Baku Nano. Talion here also has a, like, mutant form, which I don't have, but similar to Mutant Helios and uh, Mercury Dragonoid. But the two pieces can be taken apart and put back onto other Bakugan. Um, so, you know, as you see with all the other mutants, they can combine to, you know, add extra Gs or, you know, different powers and whatnot. Talion's pretty cool. Um, the Mechanium Surge is just a whole weird storyline and all that good stuff but um just seeing Talion on my on my desk with all the others makes it so worthwhile um, one cool thing i like about Talion is these little arm pieces pop up which is really nice gives him a ton of depth you can just see how intricate they get as the seasons keep going um i really like that about him so that's pretty cool and i am a pretty decent fan of the design of Talion in the show meh but, you know, the design's cool. This star is cool. To close Talion, uh, just make sure you get all his manual bits. So get these little things on his arms up, like so. And then make sure you get the hands. So hands got to go back up into the body right there. You can go ahead and shut the feet. So feet go in. And then uh, he all just kind of clasps in on himself. So you can shut the back end and the head and then close that. Make sure you get it over this metal bit, though right there and then the hands just go in arms or whatever they are and that is ventus talian Last up is Ventus Jakor um, from the second arc of Mechanium Surge, Shun's final Guardian Bakugan. I've done a pretty big extensive video on Magma Fury. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, Jakor is a Baku uh, Sky Raider, so when he pops down on a car, he flies into the air, which is really awesome, very similar. Um, exactly like Fusion Dragonoid, if you've seen my previous video on all the Dragonoid evolutions. Um, but yeah, so... Jakor, pretty cool. Um, the quality of this Bakugan feels much better from Talion. Uh, this, 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 this isn't even metal; it's plastic, but it feels much high, more high quality. I love like the grid pattern, like fence design, the scratching, the crisscross scratching on this. Really, really awesome. Um, I'm a huge fan of that. It, it, it's almost like an alligator scale, but it's not quite. Jakor also wasn't, you know, very bird-like at all. Just kind of more robotic and everything which, eh, for Shun, kind of weird. Um, but other than that, I don't have too much to say about Jakor. Let's go ahead and pop him open. Uh, he is the one of the very few Bakugan to actually be completely, um, be, being able to completely open without any manual parts, uh, which is super awesome. So I'm going to put him on the card here. He's going to fly into the air, um, probably hit his head, and then we can get into the review again. <laughs> yep, there we go. <laughs> so uh, Jakor here, right, uh, in all his glory. Really, really interesting. He's just got giant robot arms uh, that flop around. 
Really cool spring here I'm a fan of. Uh, but uh, other than that, you know, completely deployed. Um, really nice. Uh, on his chest here, got 940 Gs. So the strongest Bakugan of all the uh, Shun's Guardian Bakugan. So, you know, as, as the Bakugan got, you know, more popular and the seasons progressed, they got stronger. Uh, so, yeah, Jakor, really cool. Um, and then, of course, he's also got his two, uh, like, buddies here, his apprentices or whatever. So here's Orbium and then Skytrus, which is right here. And, um, yeah, these combine, they, they hook onto them with little pegs. Um, so you've got, like, one there, and then Skytrus has one on her neck. Um, but they combine to form Magma Fury. Again, if you want to see that video, link in the description to check it out. Um, but these two are, like, his apprentices and... Um, you know, they, they form that cool, uh, that cool Bakugan with them. To close your core, I, I've had some experience with this one. It can be done very fast if you do it right. So these, these feet are spring loaded, right? Um, and so if you're trying to do cool tricks and you mess up a lot, you, you want to be able to do this fast. So make sure you have his feet shut, right? And then close at least this section of his hands and then push that all down. And usually with a little bit of pressure, like you think you're gonna break it, but you're not, that will lock all that into place super quick. And then you can shut the head, um, and then the feet here, or the hands here, and those just click in. And that is the fastest way I've found to do it. And if you get good at it, you can do it like really, really quick, which is nice. Um, so that is Ventus Jacor. All right, guys, that was the Shun Guardian Bakugan review. Let me know what your favorite Guardian Bakugan of Shun's was. I want to know. Let me know in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, drop a comment about it, and uh, subscribe. I do videos like this all the time. Um, if you're a Bakugan fan, this is the channel to be at. Um, so I highly recommend you click that subscribe button. And if you want to see my videos as soon as they drop, click that bell. My name's Jesse, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.